And uh, so we're fishing for a bit of money. And anyways, we start asking the guy, what's the biggest one you ever saw? He and said, mate, the biggest one I ever saw was about 28 feet. 28 yeah, feet? Yeah, 29 feet maybe. Oh and he said God. he's only seen it once, and he saw it from about a kilometer away, and they estimated the size. And he said this guy, these guys in a helicopter saw it once. And it doesn't stay in the river. It stays out in the ocean. And he said it's so smart. It knows it's in silty water where nothing can see it. There's nothing as big as it. It, it owns its territory. You know, 28 feet. Yeah, and he said that, he said that the back, we're in the six-foot boat, and he said if this thing, he goes, I, I tell you this how big they are. He goes, this one would be. He said if it was under our boat, it would be sticking out about four to six feet on either side across its back <gasps> sideways, and we're in a six-foot wide boat. So he said it'd be like 15 foot across the back, its back. Like that's how. What the? F so th so something that big. 15 feet across the back? Yeah, that's what this guy told me. I don't know. We didn't see it. This guy's claiming it's like must be the biggest croc in the world. As the nemesis was proceeding onwards towards our destination our attention was directed to an alligator of enormous length, which was swimming along against the tide, at a rate which was perfectly astonishing. I never beheld such a monster. It paused within a very short distance from us, its head and nearly half its body out of the water. I should think that it could not have been less than 5 and 40 feet long measured from the head to the extremity of the tail, and I am confident that it was traveling at a rate of at least 30 miles an hour. On July 30th, 1915, RU-28 torpedoed the British steamer Iberian, which was carrying a rich cargo across the North Atlantic. The steamer sank so swiftly that its bow stuck up almost vertically into the air. Moments later the hull of the Iberian disappeared. The wreckage remained beneath the water for approximately 25 seconds, at a depth that was clearly impossible to assess, when suddenly there was a violent explosion which shot pieces of debris, among them a gigantic aquatic animal, out of the water to a height of approximately 80 feet. At that moment I had with me in the conning tower six of my officers of the watch, including the chief engineer, the navigator, and the helmsman. Simultaneously we all drew one another's attention to this wonder of the seas, which was writhing and struggling among the debris. We were unable to identify the creature, but all of us agreed that it resembled an aquatic crocodile, which was about 60 feet long, with four limbs resembling large webbed feet, a long, pointed tail and a head which also tapered to a point. Unfortunately we were not able to take a photograph, for the animal sank out of sight after 10 or 15 seconds. learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.